Now we're gonna have clean air going into this bully boy. Welcome back you guys. I'm excited for today's video. If you haven't already, go watch the video of the wheels getting put on. Man, it looks ins it just looks great. We're gonna be showing a lot of love to the STI. Not a lot of things have been changed to it. And I mean, since the turbo kit, since the engine, since everything, we're going to do a complete engine bay transformation. We're gonna do the intercooler pipes. The ETS intake is actually already done. I won't show anybody yet. We're gonna do the intake manifold, fuel rails, blow off valve, just everything. We're gonna color coordinate everything. I've always wanted to be wanted it to be show like. I think I can show off at a car meet. I mean, basically my car is just, you know, it's got a big turbo on it. I mean, cool. A lot of people have that, but I just want it to pop. Uh, just like the wheels. We're gonna get started on that and we also have another surprise. The trunk is off. That'll be coming in another video soon. As of right now it is a untouched ETA cooler kit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be powder coating obviously all of the intercooler piping. Tile anodized red is actually really really faded. May or may not powder coat this. Don't know what I'm gonna do with these. The shrouds and everything. The oil cap. I'm just basically gonna give it a full transformation. Another thing is we did find a heart for the bug eye. I'll be explaining that in, the, in another video of what the plans are with that. We gotta rebuild this to put into this. So that'll just be a project that I've never done. I'm really excited for that. Also, somebody buy this parent AOS, please. I don't need it, I don't want it on there. I'll have the IAG one, I'll cut you a smoking deal. Comment on here, hit me up on Instagram, whatever you want. So now it is time to get this bumper off. I'm going to start taking off all the pipes, getting them organized outside the car. This bumper is not hard to take off at all. It's been taken off, fell off so many times. It's about time for a new one. That bumper cut is just nasty though, I love it. This pipe's gonna be, just I'm just gonna take it off after I take off the intake manifold. It's just gonna be a lot easier. I don't wanna scratch it everywhere. I take the manifold off as one. So I'm gonna have to disconnect a couple grounds and stuff. So I'm gonna unhook the battery and get started on the manifold. After taking a kind of closer look, the wire harness actually runs under the manifold. I totally forgot about this, it's been so long. Back out the other side, so it's gonna be kind of a long process. I'll put on a time lapse and go as fast as I can. I'll just cut out a lot of stuff. Once I get it out, we'll check back in.
got some good quality stuff going on right here. Zip tied coil pack. Dang. Whoever lost this car, I feel bad for you. Finally, I've got my manifold out. The pan in the butt. The pan in the butt. I mean, the wire harness had to come all the way to the other side. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that I want to clean up. So I think this is actually a great, a great opportunity for me to clean up the engine bay. Once upon a time, we had a very, very clean, very neat, very organized, and it just didn't come back that way. So now I'm gonna take my time. Just get it how I want it. Anyway, I'm probably going to stop the video here. No, I'll probably just take off the fuel rail. I'll just leave that the, right, the same color. So I'll take off the red oil cap. I'll get my fuel rails, possibly the AOS, the turbo housing. That might be for another video. Um, but I'm probably just going to call it for tonight. I'm just tired. I'm tired. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe. And don't forget to check out those wheels.